Welcome back. It's time to dress up that house of yours at home. If you don't have a yard, that's okay. We're going to be talking about indoor plants with the master, the man with the green thumb, Tiger Palafox. Good morning. Good Thank you morning. for being here from Mission Hills Nursery. And I was just admiring his display, and I commented on the fact that I feel like pots really make an indoor plant. They really add a lot can. of character the to colors, it. The colors, the mm -hmm. character of it, the uniqueness of it can really add a lot to the indoor plants. And you can use anything for a container for indoor plants. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And what I was amazed by when I first walked up to you, I said, okay, which one of these is fake? And you said, <laughs> none of them, but they look so beautiful. They look like they could be fake, but they're not, That's the which best is great because it's so plant fresh and it's fake, real. It's yeah. Real. So what do we have here? What are some of the good ones that people could uh, pick out? Well, that's the, you know, when it comes to the indoor plants, there's a lot that can work out. And it's the nice thing is about everybody indoors can have an indoor plant. Exactly. And I think most of us all live indoors, so I think we're all safe on that part. Other but, than Alex, but yeah, we, we yeah, don't talk we don't, about that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, down here in front, we have this beautiful kind of lime green and dark green plant right there. That's a Dracaena limelight. Okay. It's a wonderful, hardy plant grows upright, more vertical, but can also be a nice little bush. Oh, and yeah. that's the nice thing about these plants is there's such a variety and such a uniqueness to each plant that mm -hmm. you can get a plant for every occasion. Now, up here in front on top of the table, you see the very first thing that probably catches your yeah. eyes is that coconut palm. Absolutely. Isn't that so that neat? That is so crazy. I saw that. I'm like, okay, is that supposed to be there? Yeah, <laughs> and coconut palms work wonderful as a house plant for us for a short period of time, mm -hmm. but they do really, they're, they're unique kind of a conversation starter, and they're just kind of neat and fun to have yeah. in the house. Yeah, and then we have a little bit of color up here, which right, is always nice. Right, we've got nice. some bromeliads and some ferns and a calanchoe up and here. A gorgeous basket, too. Really nice. And you were talking about pots and how mm -hmm. they can make it. Now, see, this is just a simple basket that you kind of put some plants in there, and there you go. You've got your container. Anything that you have at home, in theory, can be a container because what you want to do when you water these is take them out of their location, put them into the sink if you can, soak them, and then let them dry out, and then put them back. That's the best way to water. I was just going to talk about maintenance it. for these because is it different from outdoor plants as far as the timing when you should be watering and when you should be, you know, kind of keeping an eye on? The time to water isn't really much as important, but you need to water it probably at least one once a week and you want to give it a deep soaking but then you want to let it dry out. None of these plants like to be sitting in water. So people that have those saucers mm -hmm. or really a soil that retains a lot of moisture, you want to let the plant dry out before you put it back into its location. Okay. And also taking your plants and putting them into a well ventilated room or outside on a patio or something like that once a week to once a month can really help with the health of the plant because mm -hmm. it gets a nice fresh, nice fresh air mm -hmm. and it gets to see some sunlight. And that brings us to the other point is some dusting. I brought some products in here. Mm -hmm. you know, this is a fertilizer and this is for uh, pests and diseases and things like that. And then this is a, a leaf shine. Now, you want to maintain the foliage of the plant. You want to keep it clean and, and that dust looks free. Gorgeous, yeah. And because that allows the plant to breathe. Right. And when the plants breathe, they benefit you. I notice you guys don't have any plants in the studio. You need to talk to your boss about that. <laughs> but plants breathe in CO2 and breathe out oxygen. Mm -hmm. So they really help clean the air in any office, room. Bedrooms are wonderful, so that way you have a nice sense of fresh air mm -hmm. all the time. And I know a lot of people, you know, those fake plants are great, but it's just so nice knowing that what you have next to you is alive. It is a real plant. You yeah, know? and, you know, a plant like this right here called pothos is really easy. You can walk away from it for a week or two, and it will still be fine. Be there. So there's a lot of plants that take a little bit more maintenance, but there's some that you can just walk away mm -hmm. from, and they'll grow just really easy. And I'm in love with this one down here. Let's talk about this one, because big plants inside are always nice to put up against a corner or a wall. What do we have down here? Yeah, down there in front, we've got a fiddly fig and then down in the pot also we have a chefflera and it's in a wonderful red glazed pot. Mm -hmm. Like I said they're just sitting in there so you can easily take them out to water them or you can water them in, in place. But see that's a ficus and this one up here is a ficus and there's a lot of variety. They're different though yeah. And that large leaf really helps with cleaning the air and creating a nice environment. Mm -hmm. Whenever you walk into a room that has plants that are real instantly you get this yeah. kind of sense of Fresh. relaxation and freshness so Absolutely. that's really good and a great summer gift too for people going to summer parties and stuff because like you said we all live in indoors at one time or another <laughs> so people can put those you know wherever they want in their bathrooms or kitchens or anything like that yeah well great and all wonderful. these are available at mission hills nursery Correct. right they can yeah. come in and ask for you and ask for these certain plans right so and if you it. have an idea of the light in your room that you're trying to put plants into, that's a great place to start, is mm -hmm. how much light the room gets, because that's critical for most of the plants. All right, so maybe check that this morning before you head down there. All right, Tiger, thank you so much for coming in. Beautiful display, as always. Of course, for more information, just go to our website, sandiego6.com, and click on Hot Topics.